Uh, I guess we're gonna spawn another one first. Could pop the uh, treasury. We are looking for a weapon upgrade here. I think I decided that I cared more about magic damage at this rate than I did the other. Vampirism? Okay. Blood golems are good loot. We're not too upset to see blood golems. The scary part is actually this fucking village we're about to walk through. I could blood grove that village. It's just gonna be the last time we have to fight it. So I don't really want to. Should play this battlefield somewhere, I guess in here. Four twenty HP. Have to pop oblivions to get any other value. No, we'll get through with more than hundred HP, I think. I think. I can do it now though. I mean this hand is pretty low value. On our other oblivion camp so I could play another village to generate the camp to delete so I have some nice targets for oblivion some healing too although it's healing after the fact I don't know about generating triple quest mobs dude quests are fucking dangerous I don't know if I need the regen though. I feel like we're probably strong enough to take four zombies and a vampire, I think. Zero potions though, I guess. And what are we oblivion? I mean, we'll, t we'll nuke the mountain. That's why I just finished building the mountain. And we'll nuke the harpy location. That's two. I don't really have more than that though I want to nuke unless I play out the villages. I mean, I can remove the villages after playing them if I want. I can put a village there for now. We do that. All right, probably lets me draw here. survive at negative one HP looks like all right 
keep that transformation resource coming in. Can remove these villages. I don't know if it's, I guess, I don't know, man. It's gonna inevitably be one of these golems and be a huge pain or whatever. It's gonna be a huge pain in their ass. Do I wanna play the spider location? I probably do. I want to play everything I draw if I can because it keeps my oblivions in hand longer. The goal is to at least walk over the villages and get the heal though before before that. Although it will generate quest mobs. So we want spiders there. That's gonna be doubled. Hmm. Is counter a crappy AOE? No, counter's just bad. It resets your attacks and changes your targets, which is pretty rough. We can survive one round of quest mobs right now. Let's try to figure out where I'm gonna put this spider cocoon. Kind of makes sense there, but I'm gonna battlefield that for more blood clots, right? So I guess it's like here. Okay. Looks suspiciously like a skeleton. Or a blood claw, or that golem rather. It's the rat. Healing, good, more healing, good. All right, quests, quests, blood clots. Okay. Oh, I should have um, played that again. This guy's gonna pay us out though. Aren't you? Aren't you, big boy? Pay us! Yeah, level eights. Eight, seven, seven. So regen one for wandering around and invasion one and a regen one for the boss. And what's this current one? Vampirism and regen. We're fighting triple skellies in a minute. I'll take this. It seems like a reasonable upgrade. Spawning the boss this loop, I believe. I don't know, six oblivions a little tricky. Quest doggo. Pretty ridiculous. The level 5 shield with 17 evasion is just so crazy. It's so hard to want to get rid of it. I guess I need to start holding items for the boss. versus trash mobs is good. All right, there. Remove. Another cemetery, I guess. Oh no! <laughs> Do you guys see the, double, the blood clots just spawn? We'll be fighting double blood clots here in a second. 
Which is a bit scary. Get some health back after that. <laughs> it won't stop transforming. <laughs> it's like 55 enemies in a row in this tile. Alright. Alright, that was some healing. We're about to level up. Hand's eyes looks okay. We'd love to play these meadows. Okay, quest blood spawn next is gonna be brutal. I don't want to discard any of these oblivions, so I gotta be a little careful with that hand size. Okay. It'd be better to leave the peak up. I don't want it spawning the creature it spawns. It's the whole point of removing it right now. So no. Is it also a mimic? It's a mimic quest blood spawn. All right. This is bad news. All right, what do we get here? Dominant mass, damage based on defense, survivalist, or blade of dawn. I'll take a blade of dawn here. You could kill that, that would be amazing. No, no, not the... Thank God for that, alright. God, they're so nasty, aren't they? Alright. road lanterns okay 600 health right now two more blood clots it's okay double is a little rough for us is all shield. Alright, we're done with evasion right now. Not really. Are we ever done with 17% evasion? It's so hard to get away from that. the meadows going here need a rock only issue with those oblivions is set back the boss spawn by a lot So what we have quad dogs that needs to be dealt with so what do we do about that suppress it twice it's 
It's reasonable, I suppose. Mountains. What the fuck am I supposed to do with mountains right now? Blood Golem for loot. I don't want to lose this Oblivion. I need to play out some mountains. I guess I'm spawning this. We will get a Harpy. Is it every two days? It might be every two days. Bottom left. It is every two days. Exactly getting the upgrades here, are we? <laughs> Spiders. New. So we have to fight four guys. We're gonna die to that if we don't remove this. Might die to it anyways. Zero potions, 500 health. All right, what can we upgrade if we were willing to drop regen temporarily? We can get vampirism, it's our first piece of vampirism. It's okay. Get magic damage and higher base base armor. But we dropped 17 evasion for that. <laughs> it's so hard to replace a 17 evasion ring. Right. We're pretty far away from the day counter too, which is really bad news. Day counter would be huge here. Triggered the vampire. Might be death. Looks like death. Okay, it's not death. Don't know why the bat didn't spawn. Place spider out here if we're not going to convert that. I guess we're not. There's no way we need all of these shields. 25. Skeleton killing shield, I guess, but I don't know we're gonna drop that much evasion. Okay. I do have another beacon. I could suppress these spiders if they're too much. Are they too much? I mean, eventually they're gonna be too much. Alright. Okay, triple meadows. Need to spawn the boss this round. to get rid of all of those cards. <laughs> 372. 
I don't know if we can handle the boss this round either. I don't have good evasion cards at the moment. Just that one shield, pretty much. All junk we're drawing. Yeah, we're generating HP slowly off these spiders. Gotta watch that I don't delete items I want. Yeah. More groves. Groves are 100% a scam, so this is a big heal. Quest spider is fine. Do I rebuild this mountain? I think I might. Unclear to me how close we are to another enemy spawn. It's pretty close. this going Can we reduce the number of spiders reduce the number of fucking skeletons over here should remove the blood golem okay Not spawning the boss, it looks like, unless I play out the entire hand. Can we do that? I mean, we can just spam the hand out if we want. I'm not sure it's actually advantageous to do so. Going for another loop feels greedy. Sometimes it's not greed. We survive another loop of a physical attack since we no longer have the big vampire villages causing us problems and we don't currently have a um, marked blood path, blood cloth. The problem is I don't think if we pull the boss in we're strong enough to beat it right now. So it's, it may not, it may just be like do another loop and not fight the boss honestly. No potions, low HP, don't disagree. <laughs> These quest mobs are fucking us. made a blood clot a quest Look, we're done with cemeteries have to spawn it now we're at 400 health there's no way we're strong enough for the boss so best case scenario we spawn it for next round Nice. Alright, walking into skellies. Have our evasion weapon equipped. The magic damage rings, we're gonna ditch that one. Do we any possible way we ditch that? Probably not. evasion ring. It's kind of nice for the boss. Alright. Treasury down. 
rock there. We're gonna spawn another thing. I wish we could draw Oblivion. Okay. Got eight skeletons to kill. It's a lot of loot off eight skeletons. Kinda need to upgrade this shield too. It's been so solid for so long, but we will start noticing the defense. That might be good enough. We're gonna run this one to 19 with 1.8, we're not. So looking at a 28 defense one. Yeah. A lot of magic damage, really good for skeletons. My only vampirism is here though. What are we getting per hit? Like nothing off the skeletons. Uh, all right. We'll throw that on for now. Come back to vampirism off another item after the skeletons. That hits so hard right now. Wait, 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 where's my evasion ring? Okay. We can pop treasures now. This is gonna be our last cycle, right? So we absolutely can pop treasures, yep. Could have played that last one with the meta. Adds the hand size is one downside. That is a lot of magic damage. How many more skeletons do we have? There's only like one more or something though, right? More suppression, super nice. Just in here, can remove that blood golem. I guess it didn't remove it. Can only have two on that tile, it's got three. So Blood Golem's gonna have to go somewhere. It must've been moving somewhere else. Do I want this for the last skeleton? Sure. All right, where's the meadow going? Here. That's not doing anything for anyone. Nine evasion on a 21 shield. That's good enough for the boss, I think. Need to get vampirism again, preferably off something that's replaceable by the time we get to the boss. Vasion and weak regen on 26, it's better than that. Okay, take this for non-skeleton fights. Wait, yeah, okay. Things hit pretty hard. Blood clots, all right. All right, so here's the scary bit. We're at 600 health. We've got a chest and a fucking boss blood clot. get our health back from so many blood clots in a row. Okay. All right. I have oblivions in my deck. I've seen them. I don't know when we get to draw them. Presumably next round. We just hit our regen. We're at 638 again. Okay. With these things. Oh man. I don't like fighting double blood clots. Could run vampirism here. It's a much worse single piece, but we need a source of vampirism at the moment. I could swap my weapon over to vampirism too. It's a big chunk of our remaining evasion. And it's got regen, but. So we either give up 8% evasion and a bunch of armor. Now let's take the vampirism off the weapon. 
11. I don't even know if that's good. Okay, another meadow is useful. Okay. Blood clots and another chest. Asian vampirism rings. Interesting, but not good. Okay. Another treasury. Gonna start playing the treasuries out. Trying not to spawn annoying guys. Okay. Last really scary fight. Okay. <laughs> Full on nastiness. Shouldn't be able to evade uh, the Dawn thing. Okay. Attack speed's good on this boss. Might be better on this particular boss. Mimic. Alright, if you could be a little less brutal, please. Thanks. An oblivion! Hell yeah. Alright. Let's get that thing out of the way. Another meadow here. Evasion on our chest is great. us pretty hard here. Can I just not die to dog, okay? Oh, come on, dude. Alright. Another Oblivion. Awesome. Do need to spawn the boss. We're about to. Two rats at 174. Is there anything else to Oblivion, though? Yeah, I can Oblivion... can move the rock around. I could... Delete empty treasuries. Wait, did just how did removing an item cause that? I don't know. Okay. I thought Oblivion's counted against the total number for boss spawns. I'm like nearly certain it did the back. Alright, so this is a upgrade. Uh, not really. Only when you're not at the cap. What a weird rule. Five villages, don't want to pop more of them. Okay. No oh, vampire, where did you go? Oh my god. Every time I think we're safe, like I run into like another thing that's like super scary for us. Asian on our weapon, don't want to go down three levels. We got a quad spider fight. 325 after we just popped it. We can heal off the village though, right? Yeah. I don't think we have enough time to recover to fight the boss. Do I have enough orbs that I can bring the boss's stuff home even if I lose it, chat?
second expedition correct. Don't waste my heal here. Okay, good. Oops, didn't mean to pop that, but okay. Is there any world in which I use that still? Too. Ooh, Asian shield. Any better than what we're using? 22. No, unfortunately. Okay. There's a level up. If it's really valuable, we might be able to get something out of that. No, those are terrible. Would we like damage for potions? We don't have any potions. Would we like chance to counterattack during evade? We have good evasion. It sounds really bad. Yeah. Alright, so that was a scam level up. Have a ring we're using 16 and 8. Yeah. Could have suppressed this fight. I kind of forgot there was going to be a vampire here. No kind of about it. I just didn't remember there would be a vampire here. Taking so much damage for this. Strong enough to take this boss, in my opinion. Should be playing the these things now. Okay. can't survive another loop. Pretty sure we can't survive the boss fight. We're gonna be at... Alright, we're at 788 now. We will generate a shell for a big chunk of our HP. If we switch stats right now, so we've maxed stable metal, we almost maxed stable wood. Almost maxed rock. Came out with an orb of afterlife, five orbs of expansion, and half of a orb of unity. You think zero percent of boss success? I think it's higher than that. So we'll get one blade of dawn attack in there. We have article of protection. We'll have vampirism. Vampirism is bad in this fight, mind you. We can get evasion up there. We can get. Um, Attack speeds. What will we end up switching to? So we pick up 16 evasion. I guess we're taking that as well. So we drop 9, so we're up 7. I'm gonna switch to that. 
we go to 24 evasion we'll end up with 8 attack speed you say crumb crumb says 0% chance of boss success then he says fight the boss lol okay I've heard your opinion now thanks I don't know if it's gambler or not. We're level eight. Certainly our traits are not strong. Can't go for another loop. We bring enough resources back to unlock rogue here. Feels like a low maybe to me. Thing is, I really don't want to take that resource hit. How do I tell if I have the ability to retreat with full resources? I have to die and then bring it back. It's like, I think it's like, it's based on the, the map you're on, but I don't know where the resource is that I see it from. But chat, the, the resources won't be spread out. I guess I can just show you what the resources are gonna be if we go for this fight, right? These would be our stat blocks that we'd be fighting with. Goals. I only have one. Where do you see that I have one at all? So what's the shield worth? 65% of our max HP and we can still evade during it. Press the retreat screen. But isn't this gonna do something? Don't have to retreat after pushing it, okay. From this map, we don't have any. Oh, it's there, one of two. Okay. So we would do this with full health and expect to succeed. And what's full health? 1600 here. I mean, we're gonna have, we're gonna have more than 1600 health here going into this fight. Yeah, we're definitely not where we'd like to be on attack speed for this, for sure. level eight it's not that low it's actually not low at all fuck chat i don't know correct you're trying to decide if we want to fight the boss or not we have article of protection is the only thing that really is impactful from our traits we have no potions I think we unlock uh, Rogue here, right? If we go back to town. It's when I fight ghosts, it helps with that scroll, dude. We don't have the skull. Do we have enough to unlock Rogue if we're defeated? I don't think so. I mean, on some level, we're trying to do a Rogue playthrough, so maybe we just would rather experience the boss with Rogue anyways. Maybe that's enough to push us towards that decision. I think we retreat here with our resources, huh? It's kind of annoying is all. All right. I, I don't know if we won, won or lost that. It's really annoying. I w it would be nice to have been able to have the skulls to risk it, but. All right, so we're unlocking uh, refuge for rogue. 
Okay. All right. What do we have else? What else can we unlock? We're missing wood for supply depot. We're only missing two wood too, which we actually, we're at 13 of 15. So if we had succeeded, I don't know if we had the wood, but we would have the option there. Um, this is also where we get runes and runes are super critical to meta progression, in my opinion, or to progression, in my opinion. So, all right. What else are we looking for? Transmutation resources and stable. We have plenty of stable meadow for now. So extra villages were absolutely a scam. Not that we didn't know that. We're only running vampire and villages for that. It's just the timing on when we can do that. So I don't really remember how Rogue works. We've only played him a very small amount of time. So that's the point of doing this. So what does Rogue do? Enemies have one to two ability. You know, that's the chapter, Never mind. Can receive trophies after, it's not can, always receives trophies after killing enemies in battle and exchanges them for equipment in the camp, has a 5% vampirism from the start, 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. It doesn't, I guess that's only really sounds like evasion though. So we just, do you just evasion stack rogue as well with regen? Okay. Oh, I see. Because the enemies, you just want number of enemies, you don't really care what they are. Okay. So we, we, should, we should look at our deck then, okay. Uh, maybe that'll be interesting then. Okay, from that perspective, village and vampire mansion are good. It sounds like skeletons are an absolute scam for rogues. Groves suck. Um, rogue doesn't get regen. I see. How does rogue heal then? Is it literally only his five percent vampirism and um, potions? Huh. Does he get another stat that we don't have? Chester scam for rogue. I'm not running battlefield for chess. Chat agrees the rogue needs arsenal. Okay, we can't get arsenal right now, chat, so good talk. Okay. Our treasury's worth it. Yeah, we need resources. Treasury gives us a lot of resources. Chrono spiders. Why the fuck would I want a chrono spiders? Bloodgrove seems extremely dubious here. It will help with the boss slightly. But I don't really want to ever draw it, and I certainly don't want Blood Golems as rogue. I wonder if we run Swamp instead of Grove. So we get a lot of Rat Wolves. So this seems good for rogues. These are gonna be great for rogues. This is really medium. We're just trying to generate orbs for farming. If we're trying to kill the boss, we don't have to necessarily, but we still need those orbs. I'll get them off vampires too though. So maybe this, potentially looking at that. Slow spawns though. Mosquito seems so bad. grows to kill zombies I'm not gonna play endless number of villages right so the problem is with the blood grove there is like I want to play these village zombie things immediately it does help to have blood grows versus zombies but then you have to have a village next to a dog with the blood grove and I have to draw that all within the same amount of frequency I'm not sure that's good enough especially since I'm gonna want I mean maybe it's good enough because I want the blood grove on the boss Healing from Meadow Chrono Combo is big for Dodge Rogue. And that's maybe true too. Looking for Chrono Meadows, I buy that. I buy that. Why Battlefield? I don't know how many times I have to answer that in a row. Is it like 10? Like what, what number do you start listening when I say it? For the 10th time since we've been on this screen. 
Battlefields because I want blood clots because I want the resource. A kind gesture. I, I don't know how to be more clear with that. Thank you, Lord Solar Steve, for the five bucks. Bid on a house. Congratulations, man. All right. I think it's here. Try this. So it will be our first expedition as Rogue since we've really been playing. I need water. So that's what we're going to run. That's our deck. Nothing else to really build right now. We need resources. It's too bad that wood is the restrictive factor there. It's so annoying. Smithy gives us uh, nothing. We can't bring stuff back to the supply you depot. Have returned. Hey, Lefanis. Welcome back. Thanks for the 42 months of tier 2 subbing. Okay. Beacon. We are trying to kill a boss. Treasury is presumably worse for Rogue. Maybe I do want one beacon. I don't want to draw a beacon very often. I don't understand what movement speed within it range. May I walk through that tile super fast? Sure, I'll try a beacon here. I'm never going to play a beacon anywhere except around the boss, but I could also see Treasury is not being very good for Rogue. I haven't really tried it. I could try it. All right. So this is map two, expedition three. And we missed it by two wood uh, getting the intel, uh, the center right now. Okay. All right. We good? I think we're good. Attack speed's good on this boss too, right? All right. Need water. I should go get water. Okay. And I can just chrono crystal an area to give it more slime effects. It's corners that I wanna for meadows, if I'm trying to do meadows. I don't want to do this where I'm looking to set up battlegrounds. Gesture. So I want to stay away from locations like this, huh? Like here? Dude, this map's actually pretty sweet for the rest of it. Who's donating at me? Another five bucks from Lord Solar Steve. Thanks, man. Yeah, I read, uh, read your um, comment a second ago, I think. I don't know if you heard. But uh, congratulations on the house, man. It's a big deal. Matter where? I don't know. Alright. Road Lantern. Not the best draws to get Chrono into Road Lantern right now. I need, well, Grove's okay. It's really not exciting. All right, this boss doesn't do anything particularly interesting. I could put it here, it's okay. How scammy this is. So I'm trying to generate blood clots. I don't want it on my prime real estate. All right, it's probably okay. with the chrono. Definitely don't want blood clots with the chrono. I don't know 
not that I want blood clots in round one either, chant. I want spider spawns where I can get them. Double fucking road lantern. I'm gonna regret this. Okay. Should have waited for daybreak, maybe. I, I actually depends right because the the blood clots are really really annoying when they sink when they if you can complete the circuit in less than four days and clear them one at a time they're fine it just starts to be a pain when there's two at a time when they're quested then they become a real pain all right that's our items so boots are evasion a level three axe out of that Two weapons. For now, one shot. Except I don't care about these, right? Okay. Did someone really asking about battlefields and rogues again? Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware that the not going to be getting full value out of battlefields for rogues. Thanks. Okay. Okay, more meadows. Do I want to throw out the mountain areas first? Not exactly the most exciting of things to have drawn. We're gonna want to run a weapon for the first spider. We might. It's not like we're in amazing shape right now. Might be weapon time right about now. There's that joyous one shot. Nice. Three spiders is quite a lot. Do I want to suppress? I'm gonna one shot these spiders is actually probably fine for the moment. But in general, where do I want to do that? Got our first round of uh, blood clots. Dude, <laughs> two spider webs at five percenters, okay. Village, but no vampires, too bad. I guess I could have quested it. Critical damage evasion. Seems great for us. Evasion, attack speed, counter. What's the damage on that? 12 to 18? Okay. 
Chat, I don't really understand how the rogue ability works. Each each instance of a thing, I get 10% what? 10% of the bonus. So I get 10% of 6% here or another 10% on this. So what's my evasion at? I've got 6, 12, 22 evasion, but I'm showing 24. So it's probably just 10% of the max, the stat that's getting that bonus. Do I get it on the all of them or just the one? So this is critical damage. I don't know what I start in critical damages. an arsenal I don't have arsenal unlocked please please All right, what the fuck I've never even seen this thing so a worthless landmark agreed in a world with no direction so I want to play it there okay How many tiles it takes up? Okay. I only want to influence the boss tile, correct? I want to mimic. Fuck off. Double meadow is nice. Could play it somewhere. Could play it around here, I guess. Okay. Beacon goes against the slow strat. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right, so we're at 200 health. It's quite low health. Loop three. I suppose there's anywhere I could block these, right? So if I place this here, is there any advantage to playing it next to the Chrono Crystal? No, there's no real disadvantage either. Blocks the slime spawn. But... my equipment pieces I do all right another chrono crystal and another meadow the vampires just kill us by the way just so I have that out there as a possibility healing is not a way to go through your life all right uh, what did this pick up counter counter i don't care about these okay. you okay so i don't even know rogue abilities this is brand new to me fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy Seems okay, but not amazing. 
Max HP increased by one for each received trophy. Am I ever gonna get mirror max HP again? These are trophies, right? The bag? Yeah. All right, I'll take old scars. <laughs> Be gentle, zombies. Be gentle. Yeah, more trophies is definitely item selection, so there's, there's not a useless ability for sure. Alright, it feels really hard to keep the rogue's HP up. Considering double suppressing that fucking dog right now. Shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna get four on that tile. Fucking dogs wander. I always forget that when I place the tile. Alright, I'm gonna Chrono Crystal the Metal again. It's gotta be in a location, on a corner location with room to the outside, like that. Okay, Rogue seems very squishy, champ. die to our own slimes over there. Village. Village is a heal, technically. Village gives quests. I'm fighting a lot for a rogue. How the fuck are you supposed to generate advantage if you're not fighting? you guys would stop saying armory i don't have access to an armory yet just isn't i don't have access to it yet we're on fucking expedition two all right pulling out of this Evasion and magic damage and evasion bonus. Wait, how can I have evasion and evasion bonus? It seems good, but I don't understand what that means. Okay. this mechanic very much. Is there a point in taking percent max HP right now? I guess potions? Alright, we're gonna die to these blood clots like 99.9% .9 of the time here. Okay. No mimics. Okay. We talk. Why are we only at 29 evasion? This thing alone has 21. I guess if this is my only, if I only have it two pieces, never mind. Okay, never mind, never mind, fine. All right, our potions are gone already. We die? No? 
should be fine, except for the fact we're gonna get wrecked by the village. Chests have souls, I don't think so. You know what's interesting? Maybe we do want to run days here. Oh, it doesn't impact that. Never mind. It's not the one I was thinking it was. Uh, what do I get? Me other meadow? Other meadow up here, I guess. Okay. Alright, triple spider into quad zombie. I guess. Okay. One twenty eight HP going into that. We do have a day night cycle in a second. Okay. Wish us luck. May the evasion be gratuitous. Look good enough. Class seems bad, man. Class seems bad, man. Yeah, that's a good point, Victor. I could fit a third around there. No, I think it, it's not, is it double? Maybe it's double. Maybe it's 50% more. Okay. Some idiot in chat's got, I need armory, for sure. <laughs> not enough. That's just an entirely wasted run. I guess we're learning the fucking class, but it feels so bad. Feels like Rogue likes forest and arsenal. Yeah, but the problem is every single class in the game likes arsenal, right? Except for Necro, I guess. It feels, the thing I don't like about this game is that, right? Like Warrior felt super one dimensional. And as I scaled up, it just felt like stacking more one dimensional stuff for that. I don't know. Rogue's the weakest class on his own. That's what they told me about Warrior. All right, I need a quick break chat, back in a few minutes.
All right. So as much as I fucking hate, because chat's gonna, some of these these gentlemen in chat are gonna think that uh, this is in response to their suggestions and is not. I don't think I'm strong enough to deal with blood clots right now. So I'd love to leave the battlefields in there. I understand I'm not getting bonuses out of that as rogue for killing chests, but I'd still like to do that, but I don't think we can. It's They're currently taking too much of our health and we don't have any way to heal. So we're gonna have to remove those annoyingly. Other than that, what else can we remove, if anything? This seemed reasonable. I don't know about Road Lantern right now. May or may not be useful here. Suppressing groves is a good thing. I can suppress villages, it just also give up the other resource I need from that. So it's probably this. One beacon. Could build a blood grove into here. It's gonna be helpful for the vampire mansion stuff. It's gonna be helpful for the boss. It's gonna be helpful for dogs, probably. Seems not great though. I certainly don't want blood golems either. Blood golems are gonna take fucking forever to die. Um, is that okay? Maybe? Mosquitoes don't generate a ton of them. I do like that I can play them near vampires. I haven't really messed with mosquito. It's possible it's okay, it sounds bad. No, they don't have that in Act 2 yet, Jim. Swamps are pretty well. Who are swamps good on? Swamps aren't good on anyone, right? Anyways. Okay, let's try this, I guess. Okay. Swamps are good on Necro. Okay. Is, is anything... <laughs> the same... I guess the other side of that question is, is anything not good on Necro? It's like, Necro seems like insanely overpowered. All right. These are abysmal draws. Hard as the learning curve. It's not, uh, the curve to get playing is very, very light. Okay. Nice podrum. Yeah, thanks, Tyrion. Where will I go with this? So many mountains in our first hand. Ugh. This is ugly. kind of suck too. Am I to the point where I want to, I, I feel like I have to just conserve health all the time on this unit. This is so bad. 
I guess I'm gonna gear up and kill things rapidly. I guess. Even with the worst draw? I don't know, man. Still didn't one shot the spider. Double village. If we can draw a vampire location now, this actually is really good. Fingers crossed. location this round if we can. Okay. Could you be a vampire thing? That'd be more helpful to me. Actually have a blood grove too. spawning bandit camps. God, this has been an absolutely trash fucking uh, walk around here. round but that's still okay health isn't great but whatever what am I working on low expedition rogue we just beat it as a fairly low expedition warrior count I mean not super low expedition but just fairly low all right a bandit up there we can unspawn that bandit by dropping a vampire thing right they think yes First Chrono Crystal. Gonna want those with the uh, meadows in a minute. Two back to back fights of four zombies apiece. Uh, rip this run, chat. I'm sure it's unimportant. Uh, did it make a difference, by the way, putting the level three, the weapon in the offhand versus the main hand? Do I still get full stats from both on Rogue or no? Evasion seven. Damage to all. Take that. Yeah. They're the same? Okay. dead the two villages that the one village it looks like that was daybreak so we got healing there <laughs> Dude, the rogue is so weak he's so weak
Yeah, but I hate that. Okay, so here's here's my um. So I don't disagree with anything you've said there, friend, and I'm not trying to uh, uh, imply that you're wrong here. But the problem I have with that statement is this, right? So the warrior actually isn't insanely strong. I mean, the warrior's fine. Like we we can clearly farm in the early game with that. But the warrior like doesn't get strong enough to like beat the end boss until you unlocked, at least from my perspective, until I've unlocked river and forest too, right? And I don't like the fact that. Now, if the rogue also needs this too, right? The rogue needs arsenal, river, forest. The warrior needs arsenal, river, forest. We're starting to see a pretty quick pattern of what you actually need in this game to progress. And if I contrast that to the necro, where the necro's like, it doesn't need anything, and just steamrolls fucking everything. So, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what I feel about with that. Like, it, it starts to hinder my ability to enjoy the game if there is a single viable build. Or a, or a single set of items that are massively like, you know, like it's it's like there's no other opening that I can imagine where gymnasium isn't involved in it, right? Like this just seems to be the biggest power spike right off the bat. Then moving into supply depot and intel center to pick up things like the, I don't know, I, I can't remember where the arsenal comes out of, it might be smelter. I can't remember where the arsenal comes out of, but getting the ability to get levels followed by getting the ability to get items is insanely strong. And then working as quickly as possible for force for free attack speed and rivers for even more free attack speed and the reduction, not having to run mountains just seems like, it seems like the strategy for the game. And if I was, I was really hoping that that was the warrior strategy as opposed to the strategy for both rogues and warriors. Cause I'm, I'm looking at this going, well, shit. I was hoping to do something different with the rogue. And really what it feels like is what I should have been doing is just playing the necro. You know, like Arsenal and the other two? I liked Arsenal and the Warrior quite a bit. Which kind of fucks with my head a little bit, chat. Because it kind of makes me not want to play that. Like, I enjoyed our Warrior playthrough, and I enjoyed doing it with the desire to uh, minimize the number of expeditions. I don't want to meta farm. I don't know. I mean, we had a very, very nice warrior start. And maybe I just need to be like, okay, well, we're not gonna, we're gonna play rogue the second we get arsenal unlocked, potentially. You just play warrior until then, but, you know. Quickly, I get to outposts. Are outposts here or here? It's war camp, right? It's not quick. It's post forest. I don't know. So what what I what I start to feel like in this game is although the game is quite fun, although I don't feel like there's a lot of balance in the game, right? Like there's no balance between classes and there's no balance between item of stuff. So the whole strategic layer often feels like it's just a forced series of selections for me. I haven't beaten it with Necro and I haven't beaten it with Rogue, but I'm not not expecting Necro to be more fun. I'm expecting it to be less fun. I was I was hoping Rogue would be very different. But I'm not sure. So I might, you know, I might just be happy walking away from the game now, chat. Quite honestly, like I had a lot of fun with the Warrior playthrough, and if the Rogue is going to be really similar, or rather, I need the same, I need the same meta progression to make the Rogue work as I did the Warrior. I was kind of hoping that the the whole point of that would be a little bit different. So. I could just be okay and maybe come back to it post patch or something. I certainly don't want to be like in the position where Dolphin was, where I'm farming 5,200. I mean, it's very cool that he could do an infinite loop kind of thing, but I don't want to be 5,200 runs loops into a run. Like that's not at all exciting to me. I think that may be the plan for today. Then I might call it here. Come back to some different games on Wednesday. It's my wife's birthday today, so I was planning on making it relatively short today, anyways. So. I like the game. Yeah, the game was, it's like a $12 game. I had, you know, like two weeks of playing it or something, played through, figured it out, had fun with it. The fact that the other classes aren't very exciting to me is whatever. And like, it's not like the, the Necro wasn't fun. It's just from a challenge perspective for me, it seemed like I didn't want to take the most overpowered character and do the best I could do with it. Felt like I wanted to do the opposite. So, yeah. Yep, I think we might just change games take my Monday Tuesday off and come back Wednesday and we'll switch games up and go from there so 
And uh, Itadiki, I meant to tell you this yesterday. I will figure out something for, I, I, I gotta find a better counter representation for when we're doing um, extra filthy streams. So, all right guys, I think I'm out of here for today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate the uh, support. And I'll be back Wednesday. Not sure what we're playing quite yet, but I got a couple, uh, I think I have a couple games in the list. We might go back to some old games for a little bit. Got some new releases coming out not too long from now. We'll see when it happens. So anyways, guys, have a good night. Thanks for watching. See you soon. And let me host a friend on the way out who is streaming. It should be Sunday. Everyone should be streaming. I will look. Uh, not everybody is streaming, but Arumba's playing Curse of the Dead Gods. And I like that game. I'll raid Arumba. Tell him I said hi. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or I'll see you guys Wednesday anyways.